Hello again, this is Ralf from Oldenburg on May 10th, 2017 and in this video I will give you some ideas of the weather or maybe weather manipulation. First of all, uh, some own pictures from yesterday and then what I have found on the internet. You can see a sunrise from yesterday and the sun is covered by long persistent contrails. We all know chemtrails don't exist. That's what mainstream media us tells. If chemtrails really exist, are they used also to hide something from us? Okay, chemtrails in front of the gas. Nice try, guys. It ain't working anymore. You're going to have to announce this one. At least the other countries will. I guess we'll have an internet blackout, so we won't hear the announcement from the other countries to us. But you heard it here first. There they are, trying to spray in front of this thing, hiding it. The reason for the chemtrail. The reason for the cloaking device. Some people say there is a new star in our solar system. It's called Nemesis and this is a brown dwarf, a kind of cold little sun and this star has got a planet called Niburu. It's very cold here in Germany and this is what Simon Parks from England has to say about it. The, the questions rolled in very so here we go um so from uh i car uh, warm spring the string this spring has been a strange one in march in the first two weeks in april weather here in germany was fine and quite warm the trees started to blossom fruit bearing trees uh farm was told to bring out their seeds onto their fields early because some crisis might arise in the near future and surprise since mid-april the weather has been quite cold so a lot of blossoms froze to death Yep. There are farmers who have already lost 90% of their crop, apple trees, due to that late winter. To me, that is quite suspicious, and I keep wondering if there's an intention behind this. As in 2017, some dark forces try to destroy organic food and make food products even more expensive. Thank you for the information you provi provide, and thanks to JP for making this show. Irene in Germany. Right, Irene, spot on. Um, it was uh, very, very, very uh, insidious and nasty. What actually happened was... Um, uh, in countries that do export food, um, a, a, I think the scare is the right word. A scare was put out that there could be uh, difficulty later in the year. So if farmers got their crops in early and harvested them early, they would then miss a drought that was projected to come along um, you know, later on in the year. So a lot of farmers, this is establishment information, this is coming from, from, from the authorities, and so as a result of that, a great deal of farmers actually went and started planting up earlier than they would normally do so. And then what we've had is a complete change in the weather, not just here in Great Britain, but in many parts of the States and in many parts of Europe. It's almost an unseasonal cold spell, which has frozen uh, the blossoms, which means that fruiting trees will be reduced by maybe as much as 50%. A lot of the root crops uh, and cereal crops that put the shoots up very early have had their tops of their shoots uh, burnt off uh, in terms of frost, blackened off. So there will be a very heavy reduction there. Now, what's been happening um, is harp is being used to... Uh, bring cold air from cold regions down uh, and then it's been used to make that cold air sit unnaturally over a location for much longer than it would normally. So uh, artificial uh, electronic means have been used to um, do this, which can only mean that uh, food prices will rocket I remember last year they, they did a prototype of this and they were in my own local supermarket. There were labels up saying uh, customers may only buy 
uh, so many of these vegetables. So you could only buy, like, say, uh, one cabbage or, you know, um, two pounds of potatoes. That was on in my supermarket last year. So depending on what damage has been done, we can expect to see that. So you're absolutely spot on. That's exactly what they've done. Thank you for the question. Excellent. So... That's it for today, my name is Rolf and you just listened to Simon Parks Connecting Consciousness, the compact show on Wall of Spirit Radio. Connecting Consciousness Show. You're listening to Wolf Spirit Radio.